Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing another box using the Year of Cheer Designer Series paper. And this is a specialty paper, it's foiled as you can see. I love this paper, I couldn't get enough of it, so this week I thought I'd share another project. I noticed that a few of my customers had ordered it, so I thought I'd give them another box that they can make with it. So this is super pretty. This paper is just to die for. Um, here is the paper right here. So it has the snowflakes and you saw, if you saw my box last week, I made one using this gold. This is the copper that's in this one. And then it has the snowflakes, this copper piece, and it has these right here, which is going to be a gorgeous, I think it looks like the New Year's. It's got like little fireworks and stuff on it. It's so pretty. But um, this is the designer specialty paper year of cheer. And then we're going to use some of our copper foil paper. And that's just for the belly band. I am going to emboss this using our copper embossing and look how gorgeous this is this I love this copper it's so so pretty so this box I thought it'd be really cute for like if you have um, any macaroons to um, fit like a, a bunch of macaroons in here or macarons however each person says it everybody says it different but I thought this box would be really cute. Just remember to put it in a food safe bag before you put it in the box. Fill it with chocolates like the Lint Truffles. I think it would be it's super elegant. And so it deserves something really nice inside. But the packaging is so pretty. I love, love this paper. The paper just makes the box. It's, it's really a simple box, but the paper just makes the box. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we, this is what we're going to make today, so let's get started. What you will need for this is our special, and this designer series paper, um, it's, it's thicker, so it makes a perfect box. And it's this, this foil um, on it, and this has some silver in it too, which really um, makes it pop. So this piece is 8.5 by 11. So it's like a basic card, your basic card stock. So you can make use this making one of your eight and a half by eleven card stocks if you don't have this paper. But I'm telling you, you need this paper. It's gorgeous. And then this piece here is seven and a half by two. That's for our belly band. You'll need like a scrap piece of whisper white, and I'm using the thick. Um, I just like embossing better on the thick, and then a another piece of the copper foil paper for our framelit. And I am using our oval framelits. I'm using the layered ovals and then I am using our stitched ovals. The stitched ovals really add to the elegance of this box. So I wanted to use the stitched for this. I'm also using the half full um, stamp set and it's just the Merry Christmas off here. I love it. I think it's so pretty. So that is all that we're using for this. Oh, and I am using our silver edged ribbon. And I thought I thought the silver would just add that extra touch that it needed. And this ribbon is going to be cut at 8 inches. So that is everything I believe. And of course you'll need a big shot to cut out your pieces. Alright, so let's go ahead and score this. And let's go ahead and score on the eight and a half inch side first. And you're going to score it at one half. At two and a half. At four and a half. and six and a half. So it is two inches square. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one inch three inches and 
and at nine. And that is it. It, oh my goodness, it even scores so pretty. All right, so to cut this, we are going to cut out this little corner here. And we are going to cut this here. We're going to cut this whole section. Now this is this is the little bit of part that you may want to pay extra attention to. It's not difficult at all. I'm just going to cut this different because when I folded it, I wanted to fold where this glue tab is in the back and not in the front. So that's why I am doing this um, like I did did. So okay, so this right here we're going to cut down each one of these and this is the top that has the one inch side on it scored so we're going to score each one of these not score we're going to cut each one of those and then the next thing that we're going to do we where the glue tab is right here we're going to leave this one this is going to be our top flap we're going to cut the other one off right here in between so let's just cut that one out. Okay, so it's going to look like that right now. Now here, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball this, but you're going to cut it to about, I'm going to say maybe a half inch, maybe a little bit more. You're just going to cut that part off, and we're going to do the same here. I just like creating these flaps because it holds your top open and I've you've seen me do this before and I just like the way that it holds the top up a whole lot better and it keeps I'll show you here in a minute what I'm talking about if you don't if you haven't seen me before do this so I'm just gonna cut in these to make this easier to fold in and then we're gonna be ready to put this together so let me grab my bone folder and we'll sharpen all these score marks it may have been easier to show you on this side. Probably would have been easier on the eyes since this is a little bit busy. But I absolutely love it. And I forgot to cut the bottom flaps. So we do have to cut, these are our bottom flaps, so we do have to cut up each one of these too. And I usually like to take, I'm going to try to figure out which, that's the front. So I'm going to take some away from this one and this one just to make this fold in a little bit easier. Don't take it off the front flap because you want the front flap to stay solid there. And then I'll just take a little bit off of here. You don't even have to do this part. I just think it's a little bit easier to fold it in. All right, so let's finish scoring, sharpening these score marks here. And I made this a little bit longer. Usually I do about a half inch, but I really want these, this, that flap to stay inside the box and not lift, so I thought the one inch worked better. Okay, so either use your tear and tape or your fast fuse. I'm going to go ahead and use fast fuse on here and run it down that glue tab right there. And then we're going to line this up. So you're going to line this score mark here to this one right here. And then we're going to adhere it all the way down. So this is why I cut it the way I did because I wanted this to be in the back because originally the first box I tried to do I had it in here and I don't like it in the front. I don't want you to see it. I want the box to look professional so that's why I did it that way. And then we're going to fold these flaps that we cut in, the one in the back and then we're going to put some fast fuse on here. Oh, I messed it up. 
I'm going to put a lot on here so it stays closed. And then we'll fold that one back like that. So there's the front of your box. These are fold in. You can even clip these if you want. You can like clip those in. You don't have to do this, but sometimes it does make it look a, a little bit nicer, presentable. Okay, so that's that, and then we're going to just close it up, and it closes really nicely with that one inch. I really like that. It's really flush. So that is the box. So let me grab my... Um, uh, I want to call it a banner. It's not. It's a belly band. So I usually center it and look to see where um, it goes like that. And I'll just squeeze this because I don't want to have to score every... Uh-oh, I didn't make that long enough. Did I cut that right? I sure did, but it's, I think it's got to be eight and a half, not seven and a half. So let me grab another piece and cut that. Don't worry about the measurements because I will um, post them all on my blog. So I always post all the measurements there so you can check it out if you get confused here. And I think it was eight and a half when I did it last time. I don't know why I said the seven and a half. All right, let's see if this one works. I'm not wasting this. I will cut little things out of here. <laughs> I love that that foil. So let's see. Let's do this again. Is this the front? No. Nope. Yep, eight and a half. You can even make it a little longer if you want it to meet the edge here, but I think that's fine just like that. I may have even done it. You can make it a little bit longer because on this one look at how it's closed. I had it closed. So I did have it a little bit longer. So I am going to say if you want it to look professional. I mean this is this is fine. I think it looks fine. I'm just being really particular but let me see. You need another so I said eight and a half, not quite nine. So almost eight and three quarters, and you'll you'll make it if you do it eight and three quarters. In fact, I'm gonna mark that down, um, and we're gonna put that on as the measurement: eight and three quarters by two for the belly band. I don't know where I got seven and a half from. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some fast fuse right here and then on this side because I want it to stay. I don't want it to slide on and off. I don't want it. I just want it permanent. I'm going to sharpen these a little bit. Make sure you have the front of your box when you put it on. And then line it up. I think that looks fine, actually. I don't think that, but I did. I did have it longer on this one where you can't see it. It's totally to the edge. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our paper out for stamping. And I'm going to use Versamark. And oh, I'm so excited! I just got my new Versamark in. We're going to use the Merry Christmas. And I need my emboss buddy because I don't want any embossing to get where I don't want it. This pad is really gooey, so I'm going to stamp that. I don't know what it, I got on there. This looks pink. And then I'm going to grab my copper embossing powder. And I'm going to just use this. This this is a new one. I didn't put a spoon in here yet. 
I just gave it its own little box. And then we are going to heat emboss that. I'm going to grab the, the heating tool. And we'll emboss this. Okay, so look how pretty. I love this copper emboss. This copper is absolutely gorgeous. And then this is going to be for our framelits. So we're going to use the stitched oval for this one. And then we're going to use that one for that. So, so let me grab the Big Shot real quick. We can run these through together. So I'm going to use my magnetic platform, my base plate, which I need the flatter one on the bottom. I go through these like crazy. We are going to run that one. This is so pretty cut out in this copper foil. And now we're going to run this through. So look how pretty that looks with the scalloped edge. Isn't that pretty? I think it's adorable. So those are all ready to go. And I'm going to grab my ribbon and I said eight inches, so let me cut that. I'm gonna cut a little end here. And I'm going to grab a glue dot because we're going to use a glue dot to hold this on. And I'm just folding it like that. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue dot right there to hold that together. And then we're going to use another glue dot to hold it on to here. I like to spread those apart and then we're going to just adhere this to here. It's so pretty on here. I just love that. And then I'm going to grab a couple dimensionals and we're going to pop it up. before I close out this video I'm going to tell you what my November special is so then this goes right on top there and if you want to cut them a little bit shorter I like them going the same way on this box for some reason so there you have it super pretty I really love this paper and as you can see the box is not hard at all it's super easy to do but they're so pretty so if you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and you can shop right from my blog and my November special is if you place a $50 order you will get a whole pack of the doilies are um, these are our delicate white doilies. You will get a free package of these, and you have to spend $50 to get that. And then if you spend $75, you will also get a pack of Baker's Twine with it. So you will get both of them if you spend $75 or more on um, my, at my shop this month. And don't forget to use the hostess code, because um, if your order is less than $150, use the hostess code that I have on my blog and you will get in the drawing to win hostess rewards for that month so usually I'll post it on my blog and um, with a congratulations to the person who won that month so have a blessed day and I'm gonna catch you in the next one bye